Welcome back to more of the Game of Blind with Sam of Him. Let's play of Darkest Dungeon. I am going to go for another boss fight because, quite frankly, there's nothing else I can really do here. I, I mean, I can go for a short quest in the Weald, but why? Or go for a short quest in the Ruins. And then everything else is for level 3 characters, so I can't really do anything in the Warrens, unfortunately. So we're going to go for the... Sodden Crew Fight in the Cove. This is a, a bit of a, again, a bit of an odd team to be taking. And there's a reason I put the Jester in the back row. And I'm actually, I'm mildly tempted to take these trinkets off of the Crusader because he is natural. So he gets plus 20 max HP, plus 20% healing received, and plus 3 speed. Which is tempting, considering, I mean, it's, it's good, but at the same time... I mean, I kind of feel like these trinkets are a little bit better than just plus 20 HP. It's not too bad. I'm taking our Grave Robber, whose moveset I might adjust when I'm later on in the dungeon. I don't know yet. We'll figure it out. And we have our Occultist, and we have our Jester, which I have adjusted his moveset accordingly to be in the back row. I don't know if this is going to work. Probably not, but we'll see what happens. So, as usual, we're going to take all the food... And let's see, we're not we're not bringing our. Let's just take four shovels this time. Probably gonna regret doing that, but we'll see. Four medicinal herbs. Sorry, for of those things. I can't think of that. That's called bandages. Uh, four four keys. I think is way too many for this. Let's just take three. Uh, let's take four of these just so I can. Just so if I want to, if I don't use them before I get to the boss fight, then I can. And let's 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 go. Prying eyes had become a nuisance along the old road, and so I undertook to receive my most curious deliveries by way of marine shipments. A sheltered jetty was accessible by a narrow stone stair off the back of the manor. And a discreet system of pulleys could hoist even the heaviest prizes up the rock face from a securely tied dinghy below. All I can think about when he says that is that scene in The Princess Bride where Andre the Giant is carrying a bunch of people up a cliff. The cliffs of insanity. And drowning for eternity. I... Yeesh. Okay. I have a feeling that the crew is down here. So... I think I might just make a beeline for them, and then if I feel like I can do a little bit more in the dungeon, then I'll kind of go back and continue exploring. I mean, I could I could hit up a few extra rooms, but I think it's probably best to just go for the boss as soon as we can, because this is one of those kind of weird bosses that I, I don't have, like... Like, I've, I've fought it enough times to, you know sort of remember what the gimmick is, but it's also been long enough since I fought that boss that I don't remember exactly what needs to be done against it. Like, I kind of remember, but not well enough, I think. So that's a pretty good start. I probably should have honestly switched out one of my occultist's moves. Hey, no, let's just, let's just, well, hmm, sure. Well, Never mind that. So much for my great plan. Uh, sure. It did pretty good damage, actually. Wow. All right. Uh, valid. As much as I'd like to start moving my jester up so I can do a so I can do a finale, I'm not going to, and that's unfortunate. Getting healed for all of that damage that we just did to him. Okay. It's a great start. Oh boy. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Just do it again. Okay. Uh, at least we can counteract the stress damage they do with with uh, the other inspiring tune. I think that's what that one's called. But uh, just, just keep buffing people. What? Really? What's your speed, dude? Like fifty? Nine? Okay, that's good. Okay. Let's do this this time. Okay. Good. Got rid of somebody. 
Alright, even better. So now I just have to deal with his madman. Is that what his... That is actually what he's called. He's called madman. Cool. Surges as the enemy crumbles. Okay. It's a, it's a tiny bit scary. But we got through. We got a trinket out of it. That was interesting. Alright. Sure. The light, the promise of safety. No fight, huh? And no scout either. Okay. Yeah, let's just. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna beeline for what I'm 90% sure is the boss fight. Like the the vast, 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 vast majority of time, the boss is as far away from the start as possible. I don't like this though, at all. Uh. uh do you even have... What does your move resist? 25. Not that it matters, really. I kind of wish that I... I wish that I would kept uh, whatever that move is. I can still switch Sacrificial Stab out if I really want to. Okay. That's fine. Also... Oh, it's that one that moves so quickly. I was like, how the hell did these things go before... Oh, they didn't. It was this thing that went first. Uh... Not quite. Unfortunate. Alright, let's... Thank you for getting rid of that thing. So I don't have to deal with that anymore. And... Sure. Buff everyone. Title Ballad is a really good... Uh, it's, it's probably one of the best buffs you can get in the game, I think. Alright. He's okay with me. There's a lot of gross stuff that's happening right now. I gotta tell you. Okay. These things have armor, right? 20% protection. Let's see. Can I get rid of one of them? Nice. Give them no quarter. Uh, do I want to do a stress heal? Not particularly. I also don't really want to attack, but I gotta give it a try. Oh well. We tried. Good. Can we get... Oh, you're blighted. Right, I forgot. Let's get rid of that. I know I should probably heal, but I also really want to get rid of this thing. Okay. Alright. Good. We got a whole bunch... Hey, we got our anti-venom back. That's weird. Where did that come from? I don't think I want to know. Never mind. Okay. Let's move you back here. I like, I like Demon's Pull a lot. But I also really like having the option of potentially hitting the front row with a really strong attack. You know? Maybe I should drop Weakening Curse. I'm going to regret doing that as soon as I drop Weakening Curse, so... I don't know what to do. Quite frankly, I don't know what to do. We're just going to stick with what we got. I guess. I, uh, yeah, that's fine. Okay, so there is another fight right there. I'll probably just camp right before, in this room here, right before the boss fight. I guess that'll work. Uh, I don't really think we need to light a torch right now. Now what are we going to fight? More bugs? Why more bugs? Why so many bugs all the time? Please, no bugs. I don't like bugs. Bugs are scary. Okay, wait, can I... Oh, this thing was at the front. Maybe that's why... Oh, man... Really? You went first, huh? Or you went before this thing, huh? I don't think I can kill it with a regular attack. Or with Zealous Accusation. I probably could have, but I just don't want to risk it with that thing. Okay. I guess we'll just do this. I should have probably healed, actually, now that I think about it. Whoops! Really should have healed him. That was a mistake on my part. I will... I will admit that. I really should have... Really, really should have um, should have healed there. Okay. Okay. Three for three. All right. Okay. Uh, flashing daggers, I think. Not great. Okay. Now we're gonna heal. Uh, who's at less right now? You're okay. You're you're at less overall HP and perfect zero heal. Just what I was hoping for. 
let's... Mm, I don't know if I want to get him in the in the line of fire just yet. So let's let's do a stress. No, let's just keep battle balloting. That seems to be the the best plan to go for right now, I guess. I don't really know. I don't think I can one shot this thing, but I'll give it a try. Destroyed. Just barely got it. I like it. Okay. The character that they hit was the character I expected them the like I expected the most to dodge an attack. So okay. Can we get a heal, please? I'm just gonna spend a turn to bulwark. Probably should have done that a while ago. Probably shouldn't have done that actually at all. Now that I think about it. See? That's that's why you get the zero heal, because then you get a crit the next turn. That's how that works. That's that's totally a legitimate thing that happens. It's not just random chance. Okay. Can we get this guy? Nope. Unfortunate. Okay. Oh my god, I didn't know you could resist that. Whew. Okay. Now I know you can apparently resist the Crimson Curse. Good job, dude. Whew. Okay, let's get rid of that thing. You got blood anyway. As victories mount, uh, I like so both of those. Resistance. Oh, we got two vials of blood. Wow, okay. I'm going to get rid of something. I don't know what. <laughs> Let's see. Let me think about this for two seconds. I mean, like, we can probably get rid of the bloody fetish and the portraits. That's not that big of a deal. I want those things more. We're very low on uh, crests, and I would also very much like to eventually have the opportunity to, uh, like, upgrade some things again. Okay. Let's go here. Don't need a torch. Get the scout. Hey, all right. No two-room scout, but that's fine. We know where the boss is. Okay. Uh, y you. You are our trap person. Please to disable the trap. Thank you. Good job. Leave that behind. <laughs> really? Just another torch? I don't think I need it. I mean, we're gonna we're gonna camp here. Okay, no fight right before the boss. That's good. Let's go ahead and camp. Okay. Uh, we might as well feast. We haven't had a we haven't had a food check yet. I just realized that. That's a little weird. Okay. Let me remember what I have to do here, because I think first off we do unspeakable commune to prevent nighttime ambush. Just stress everyone out, but that's okay, because we can do something to, to fix that, I think. It's just one companion thing. Never mind. Uh, do you have a thing? Oh, that's plus 20% damage. Yeah, we're probably going to do that for somebody. I don't know who yet. Um, I think the Crusader's probably fine on damage right now, so I don't think we really need to, to like buff his damage any more than we need to. So I might buff the Grave Robber's damage just because... Like, she has decent damage, but she could always, you know, have more damage to, to do. You know, that made perfect sense, I know. Let's see. 20% scouting chance. Okay, so let me think about this for a second. So, Abandoned Hope... Not Abandoned Hope. Uh, dark Strength is two time. And then if we do Night Moves, that's another two time. So that is... That's four, so we'll still have five time left, I think. Oh, good. Zealous Speech actually does lower stress. Okay, perfect. So we'll do Dark Strength on the Grave Robber. We will do Night Moves. And we will do Zealous Speech to increase, to lower everyone's stress. Not increase everyone's stress. That's the opposite of what I wanted to do here. Okay. Uh, you know what? Let's just go for the boss here. What the hell? I was going to say maybe we'll do that next time, but let's just try it and see what happens. Let's go for the boss fight. Might be the quickest I ever get through a boss in like in one dungeon as opposed to... Or one episode as opposed to two. And then we'll spend the next... Okay. Well, here we go. I didn't actually need to do that. Here's the crew fight. Okay, so 
from what I recall, the, the, the big gimmick with the crew fight is that this guy up in the front can use an attack where he basically completely immobilizes one of your crew members. I think he might drag them to the front also. And basically what you have to do is you have to kill him in order to... Uh, in, so, so you can actually uh, damage the crew because every turn that one of your heroes is immobilized by this guy, it heals the, this, the crew fight. The crew things. You know what I mean. Anyway. Mm, do I really want to do a bulwark of faith to start things? Not really, but I think the 22% protection is going to be a pretty big factor for the rest of this battle. So let's do it. Uh, I wonder if I can kill this guy because he is armor piercing attack. He does only have 14 HP. If I could get rid of actually I meant I totally forgot to to give him sacrificial stab. That is my bad. They're unholy, so it doesn't really matter that much. Try it. Eh. An unimpressive amount of damage, admittedly. Okay. Uh, we can't move them, so let's just hit him for a little bit. Eh, eight damage is eight damage, I guess. Not, not bad. And let's see, what do we want to do? Uh, let's go ahead and go for the battle ballad, I guess. Oh, nice. Dodge that. Didn't dodge that. What? What is this? This is different. I'm confused. I I don't know what's happening. Was that the, wait? That wasn't the bulwark of faith that caused that light, right? What is this? Oh, immobilized. Okay. Oh, I guess he is immobilized. Okay. So we have to kill this guy because he's going to cause a lot of problems otherwise. But he does lose. He does lose his um. His protection goes down to zero. So you can see it's healing up uh, as we speak, which is not good. So I have to get rid of him. They're going to summon another one. That was really weird. I was not expecting that. Sorry. It really threw me off. Uh, I, I guess this thing takes up three spaces, so we can still hit him with, uh, with uh, that thing. Okay. Nice dodge, actually. I can't stun this thing, can I? Well, it only has 50% stun resist. Let's give it a try. Worth a shot. We're in clutch. Ow. We're going to have to heal up pretty soon. Okay, so... That guy's back. They're bleeding, so I need to use a bandage. Uh, what do we want to do here? I don't know. Oh. I guess I don't have an option here. <laughs> I guess we're using um, right to the face. It's weird. Why can't we use flashing daggers? Am I not? Oh, I'm in the wrong. I'm in the wrong spot. Oh, how did you get moved to the? F oh, whatever. Uh, it's fine. Nice crit though. I'm just gonna do this because I really want to. Oh, this is actually a really bad idea because now my crusader can't do anything. I have made a terrible mistake. Unless he brings the Crusader back up to the front. No, he didn't. Okay, we can't do anything. <laughs> Alright, I made a terrible mistake. Uh, I can't pass. I just need to have him move up. That was a huge mistake on my part, I will admit. I wasn't paying attention. I think it's a stress damage? Yeah, okay. Okay, that's bad. That's real bad. Oh, you can still attack, even though you're... I thought you couldn't attack when you were immobilized. I guess not. The ground quakes. Okay. He needs to heal. I should probably heal you up. Okay. Bleed's not good, but the rest of it's fine. I'm just going to do... Okay. Until I can get the... Until I can get the... What's his name? Crusader. Until I can get him back up to the front, I'm not going to... Alright, we'll move on with one more. If you keep doing just a little bit of stress damage with me, that's totally fine. I don't mind at all. Okay, we didn't move her, that's good. 
Where are you at? 68. That's not too bad. Throne dagger is at, wow, plus 9% crit modifier. Maybe worth a try. Okay. Um, can I stun this guy? 50% stun resist. I want to give it a try. Nice. Okay, good. I really want to get a chance to do the, the finale thing for the... I almost called him Joker. <laughs> like that's, that's not what he is at all. Uh, okay, nice. I mean, if I if I had given the Jester solo as another ability instead of Dirk Stab, then I could have done the solo finale thing. But I guess finale only you can use once per battle. So yeah, we'll, we'll just try it anyway. Get him up to the front row and then we'll use finale. And it's not like it's going to kill this guy off, but we got to give it a try, right? Don't... Okay, didn't move her. That's good. Don't... You know what? That's actually fine. Weirdly enough, I'm completely fine with that. Let's see. I'll try another Throne Dagger, see if maybe we can get a... Nope, no crits, huh? All right. That's fine. Uh, we need to heal somebody, right? Well, not really, actually. Okay. We'll just keep going. Little bits of damage here and there. That's all we can do. Okay. So, what do I have for my Buster Finale? Uh, plus 150% damage and plus 16% crit. So Finale will do a fair amount of damage. Probably won't kill this thing. I don't think so. I think it has 39 HP. I'm not going to kill it. Never mind! I was not expecting that. <laughs> Okie dokie then. So we got a Man at Arms trinket. Hello. Plus 30% move skill chance, plus 30% stun skill chance, minus 15% damage. Not bad. A steady Bracer. Eh. Okay. What do we get rid of here? Uh, Anti-Venoms and Jade. Sorry, bye. I was not expecting the Jester to do what he just did there. But, yeah. No, that's uh, that's the power of Finale. Is uh, Especially if you build it up with, like, Dirk Stabs and Solo. Because I think Solo... What does Solo even do? So it gives you a um, gives you a pretty big. No, it doesn't actually give you a. Oh no, sorry. Gives you a plus seventy five percent damage buff and a plus eight percent crit for finale. That's kind of interesting. I think most of his. Yeah. So like uh, Dirk Stab buffed his stuff for that, and so did Battle Ballad and everything. It's kind of interesting how the Jester works. I never really give him the chance to do, like, a finale sort of thing, but it's only kind of useful on bosses, I think, or maybe large monsters, like, um, a collector or whatever. Anyway, so we beat, uh, the crew, but I'm gonna go ahead and explore the rest of this dungeon, so that'll be the next episode. So, uh, please click the like button if you enjoyed the video, and do subscribe to the channel, and thank you all for watching, and I will talk to you all next time.